Hello, this is NDA's 83. And I just bought this, an Xbox One wireless controller. And the reason for that is that you can see I have a, a Windows 8 laptop and I hate playing uh, PC games. So I thought perhaps this will make it better if I can use a console controller for playing on here. Now, one of the reasons I hate uh, uh, console nah, PC gaming is that uh, it's uh, very clunky, especially the AWSD uh, and the using of the mouse thing. So I decided that hey, I can, I will, um, I will uh, try this then, see if it helps. So, uh, and but another thing that I hate, and that's why I made this video, is that usually when you do something on PC, it's never easy. It's sort of like, oh yeah, yeah, you can just do plug it in and blah 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 blah. And so I'll see how if I can make it work. And if I can't make it work, then that's just another. Th Example of how difficult PC gaming is supposed to be. Okay, let's see now. Okay, okay. So now I am at Xbox support, uh, and that's the wrong one, actually. One moment. Now, is my Xbox One wireless controller compatible with the PC? And then it says yes, and blah blah. blah. And then I downloaded this one, PC driver. Or Xbox One controller, this one. I downloaded it already, so there's no reason to do that, but uh, yes. And then I installed it. And then the next step is to start using it. So I uh, put a favorite, but for some reason I can't find. Uh, bookmark this page, yes. Bookmark. Here we go. And that's step one. Ugh. Step one. Install a driver. For, uh, yes. Connect your Xbox controller to the computer via micro USB cable. Micro USB cable. Now what is that? Uh, fortunately I actually have that. Uh, I have uh, some other things that I actually needed too, so I'm gonna connect that one moment. Okay, so now I've connected a micro. Come on, find it. Micro, okay, it says micro USB cable there, but for some reason I can't seem to film it on the screen right now. Anyway, this is a micro USB cable. Ooh. You see? So let's see if it's easy to connect with my uh, Xbox One controller, which is there. Yes! So this is the Xbox One controller. It's an import actually, I bought it in Norway, but it's an import because Microsoft thought that, hey, Norway is a small and poor country, we don't need to prioritize that country for any reason. So, um, so this is an import, uh, but bought in a Norwegian store. And if this doesn't work, that store has a 30 day delivery thing, so I can actually return it if it doesn't work. You hear that Microsoft? In Norway, consumers have rights. Perhaps that's one of the reasons why they haven't prioritized Norway, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna open it up, let's see now. Um, how should I do that with just one hand? That's the question. <laughs> Uh, yes, here is a sticker. And then here we go. And here it is. We no, not we Xbox One. <laughs> Okay, I don't own an Xbox One. I actually bought this just the controller. I I have been thinking about buying an Xbox One, but uh, for reasons already established in uh, 
In a video I can probably add it somewhere. Let's add it here, huh? Let's add it here. There we can have the nice little video about uh, why I don't want to buy an Xbox One right now. Uh, uh, but in short, backwards compatibility and uh, yeah, it, it it seems to be made. The console seems to be made by for uh, for the producers and uh, not for the consumer. Uh, it's just like a cheap thing. Okay, but now I'm gonna see if I can connect this thing I see here. Here it is. This is the mini USB. And see if how easy it is. Okay. Well, won't this be exciting? <laughs> Okay, so we discovered problem number one. This mini USB is not mini enough. You see, if I take this here, and then you see this one here, and then I'm gonna put it there. It won't go in. Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay, uh, perhaps I'm sticking it in the wrong hole. There's something here. Let's see if I can put it in there. Nope. Okay, let's see here. Connect your Xbox controller to the computer via micro USB cable. Uh, okay. I'll try it a little bit without the camera and see if I can make it work. Okay, so I have learned that what I have here is not a micro, it's a mini. That means that I actually have not the right one for this job. I need a micro and I have a mini. Micro, mini. Micro, mini. Isn't that fun? Yes, PC gaming! Not a grief at all. Okay, so now I've been thinking, good and well, how can I connect this to this when I do not have a USB micro? Um, the first thing I thought was, do I have a micro somewhere? I mean, I have like 160 different kinds of USB cables, so perhaps I have one. So I tried another one, you know, I have two of those. But this one is not a mini either, it's a micro either. This is just a mini, because micro seems to be a very special one. And um, so the next thing I saw was like, do I have it on my mobile phone? Or anything else? No, I do not, I think. Wait a minute, perhaps I do. Mm. I'll I'll see one moment. Would you look? Would you look at that? My Samsung actually was a mini. Hmm. Well, if you think of doing PC uh, problem solving before playing PC games is a part of the game, then yes, I am having fun now. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it here. Let's see. And then let's see what happens. It's lighting up. Runtime error. Runtime error. Program C, this application has requested the runtime to terminate it in an earlier way. Yes. Okay, I hope I just destroyed my computer. That would be fun. I hope so. Okay, something is happening down there. Let's see. Okay, it's disappeared again, but it was an icon there. Um, come on, what's happening now? Something happening or what? Okay, I have to go here. Sound and video game controllers. Nothing is registered. What about this? Okay, I'm gonna press this button now. Is something happening? <laughs> Oh, good grief, huh? <sighs> okay, U Bluetooth USB module, okay. No. Don't think that's correct. Uh, processor, system device. 
It should be here. Sound video and game controllers. Okay, I'll I'll return when I understand anything more. But yeah, I at least I found that one. Excellent. Well, when I'm pressing buttons, something is happening. So I guess it works. Okay. I don't know why, but okay. But if I were to unconnect it, let's see what happens then. It's, it isn't working then. Where is it? No. Okay. But I guess I can work with that. It isn't wireless, but it's better than whatever it isn't. So, okay. I'm gonna try this then and uh, be happy. Do not ask any questions. So, um, in summation, making things work on a PC is a grief, but if you have the patience, of course, things may happen. And uh, yeah, it does seem to work. Uh, I guess uh, I should try it on a game or something before I get all happy about it, but uh, I will not record anymore uh, on my uh, camera at least. I'll, if I record anything, I will record it in the inside of the computer. connected my uh, Xbox controller to my PC and I'm gonna press the uh, Windows box button and see what happens pressing it a little bit longer I guess aha uh -huh. something is happening most definitely yes we're in the steam hub now excellent and I'm gonna play uh, I got the only game that I played in uh, on console to compare the experience, so to speak. Yes. In case you wondered, yes, I am going to play Team Fortress 2. If it will ever start. Ah, excellent. Firing up. I would be lying if I said I haven't tried it before. I I got this controller to work yesterday. And I tried to make a couple of recordings yesterday, but uh, the sound didn't work, blah de blah didn't work, and so forth and so on. So, um, yeah. Not responding, it says. That's good. That's very good. Better get on the forum and find out why it's not responding. Could be a server error. I just downloaded a new uh, update or something. Oh, now it's working again. Fine. Excellent. Ah, oh, okay. So now we're in. Better remove that uh, mouth. Yes. What's going on? Why isn't it responding? Respond, damn it! Oh, 
something is wrong. Now then. Uh, it's not working! Better get on the forum! Okay, I have to try again, I guess, one moment. Okay, then back. No. Jeez, Luis! Okay, let me try again. <sighs> no, it's not. It's not already running. Excellent. I said it before and I say it again. The little I've tried Team Fortress on PC, I really wish they could uh, release a console version, another console version of this game. Just like perhaps just a really um, well thought out, no, no, just a c clean Team Fortress game, not an orange box 2.0, a, a, a pure Team Fortress game. Perhaps even with it would have been fun if they had like um, if they had like a story, like a single player story and stuff. I would have loved that. Okay, let's see if it works now. Seriously, it's not working? What's going on? Oh, jeez, Louise. Okay, close it then. Yes. Turn to desktop. Why isn't it working? Okay, fine. Ah, now it's working. Excellent. Uh, same. Uh, there, there's more uh, uh, choices in this game than uh, than there is in the orange box version. But I think I'm gonna go for the attack defense. Yeah, yes, attack defense. No. Play now. Play now. Fine. I'll press the gun and button on my screen then. Play now! Yup, yup. The Xbox controller is surprisingly light. I'm talking about the Xbox One controller. It's surprisingly light. I don't know if I like it or not. I always feel that light is the same as cheap. But I guess light can also be comfortable.
Yup. I can't actually complain about long loading screens because there have actually been long loading screens on the console version too. Yes, I'm gonna be blue, I guess. Blue WD. Let's see. I am going to be the Mare. Now, the, the little I tried it, which actually is a little bit. Uh, Little I tried it, it's basically the same type of controller as on the Xbox. God damn it, why did I... I, I don't like that auto-balancing, it, it just makes things strange. But I really don't like the team auto-balance thing, I mean, I do get the point of it, but it's annoying too. Drags you out of the game, suddenly you're on another team. And of course you lose. Yes, run away from me, why don't you? Well, that was fun.